Today, what we're going to do is look at some free ways to find keywords for your website using ChatGPT and SEO strategies. And I'm going to review all the best prompts, techniques, and workflows so that you can actually do this, plus some of the best ways to organize your keywords once you've done the research. Now, these are all going to be free techniques that you can use step by step to find the best keywords to rank for on your particular website. Let's get straight into it. So, the first method that we can take a look at is the alphabet soup method. Now, I'm going to show you a smarter way to automate this with ChatGPT. But just to explain it in detail, essentially you would type in your niche into Google. This is quite a common method of finding free keywords. And then you would put your main niche plus A, right? And then you can scroll through all the A related keywords in the auto suggest. And then you can go on to B and then C, etc. And you know that people are searching for these keywords simply because they show up in the auto complete. If they didn't get any searches, they wouldn't show up in the auto complete. Now, what you can actually do on ChatGPT is you can use this prompt, which says, Give me keywords that include the word insert niche. And then the next letter starts with A. So if we type that in and we see what we get. So here's an example. And we've got a list of A related keywords to our main keyword, right? So here's the main keyword. And then here is the letter afterwards. Now, why would you do that? Because you can comprehensively go through every single letter in the alphabet. It's quite an automated process, but it finds relevant keywords that you could potentially go for. And then for example, and then you can try, for example, for the next letter, like B. And you've got even more free relevant keywords. And if we check some of these examples and make sure they are actually in the autocomplete. So for example, carpet cleaner buying guide, we'll plug that into Google and you can see it shows up on the autocomplete right here. Same here, so carpet cleaner before and after, etc. Best for pets, you can also see that. So all of these keywords are showing up in the autocomplete when we search here for A, B, C, etc. Now, if you did it for the whole alphabet, I don't think ChatGPT would be able to generate that much content at once and you probably lose a lot of the data. So that's why you want to do it step by step. This is an easy way to find keywords in one go and then you can begin structuring your whole website. And I'll come on to that later in this video. So for example, give me keywords that include the word carpet cleaner and the next letter of the word starts with A, B, C, et cetera. And then you can see A, B, C, all down here. And then you can just rinse and repeat that for the whole alphabet. And you can also start plugging these keywords into a Google Sheet to build a huge list of keywords that you can actually rank for. And you can see already we have like 31 different keywords that we know are getting search volume. And we've automated it with ChatGPT to save a lot of time. But we're still finding relevant keywords that would be suitable for our website. Now, another way that we can look at keyword research is understanding where the buyer is at in the process, right? So let's say we have a funnel for our website like so. And this is where we make money. We can separate who's going to come to our website by their intent, right? So how ready are they to actually buy something? So this is the top of the funnel. This is the bottom of the funnel. And people at the bottom of the funnel are more likely to make money. Now, obviously, there's going to be less people at the bottom looking to buy because most people are not ready to spend money. And there's going to be more people at the top who are just trying to educate themselves to find out more information before they actually purchase something. So what does that mean for SEO? Well, essentially, if you're using ChatGPT SEO to find keywords that you can potentially rank for, you can actually go into ChatGPT inside the same chat that you did the Google Alphabet Soup method for keyword research. And then if you scroll down here, we can filter by awareness, right? We can say, give me some top, middle, and bottom of the funnel keywords that I can rank for. And ChatGPT will break it down for us nicely. Plus, it separates the keywords by top of the funnel, middle, and bottom of the funnel. All right, so for example, if you look at the bottom of the funnel keywords where people are ready to buy something, you've got, for example, carpet cleaner trial offers, top rated carpet cleaners, book a carpet cleaner, etc. Whereas if you look at the top of the funnel, you've got like informational keywords like why clean your carpet or benefits of a clean carpet. Now, you might say, why would you even try ranking for these top of the funnel keywords if they're not going to make you money? And here's the thing that I would say. These keywords are going to directly make you money potentially if you get the conversion rate optimization right on the page. But if you scroll to the top right here, these keywords can still bring in more leads or more opt-ins to your website, which then generates more income. But it's a longer play. Right? So you might get traffic to your website. They read the guides. You might make some money off ads. You can convert that traffic into email opt-ins, for example, and then build your email list. And then... They're probably not going to convert today and they probably won't convert tomorrow, but potentially in three or six or nine months of nurturing a relationship, bearing in mind you've got their email address, so you can email them with value along the way and build that relationship. And then eventually they're likely to buy. 
And so if we go back to this funnel method, even if you target keywords over here, as long as you have a good lead magnet, and if you've monetized your website with ads, then you're still going to make money. Plus, if you've only got review keywords, this can hurt your rankings. Now, we can also take these keywords right here and our middle of the funnel keywords and the bottom of the funnel keywords as well, right? And now we're building out a nice list of keywords that I'm going to show you how to organize later in this video. So just to recap, we have covered the alphabet soup method and basically the prompt for that. We've also talked about how to find top, middle, and bottom of the funnel keywords that could all potentially make us money if we monetize a page in the right way. Now, what we can also do is take our competitor sitemap and then get an idea of what sort of keywords they are actually ranking for right here. So for example, you can see the sitemap right here. And if you want to check out your competitor sitemap, you can easily go to your main website and then go to sitemap.xml and that will usually break it down for you. And then you just look at the post. And so if you look at a long list of this sitemap, for example, what we can do is we can take that data and we've pasted in the whole sitemap, as you can see. And also bear in mind here, if you're looking at your competitor, potentially they've branched off into other niches that are not so relevant to you. So ideally what you want to do is manually edit the ideas list before you publish this to your site. So how do you do that? What you can say inside the prompt is give me only the most relevant keywords for my website about, and then you just insert your niche so that as you can imagine, it only gives you the most relevant ones. And as you can see here, ChatGPT says, given the extensive sitemap from this website about birds, I've selected the most relevant keywords based on the common themes and specific topics covered in the URLs, right? And now it's generating a nice long list of keywords from that sitemap and we don't need to do any editing, we save a lot of time. If it only comes back with like 10 keywords, you can say, well, any others you recommend. And then from there, just to get a neatly formatted list, you can say, now just give me the list of keywords, nothing else so that I can base it into a list and that'll format it nicely for you as well. Then we can take that content and plug it into our list as you can see. And as you can see from our list, we're starting to generate a nice comprehensive list of keywords in different parts of the funnel that we could potentially rank for. Now, one of the other best places to get keyword research is actually using Google's data, right? So for example, this is a free keyword tool that is called the Keyword Planner on Google Ads. So Google Ads Keyword Planner. And what you can do is if you click on discover new keywords over here, plug in your competitor's website like so, hit get results. And from here, you've got a huge list of keywords that you can actually export. So there's 650 there. Now, when you're building out this list of keywords and you're trying to scrape everything that you can, I would recommend that you try and do this all up front, right? So you don't want to do it bit by bit. If you're planning out a website or if you're trying to reorganize yours, it's always good to do this in bulk because it's going to save you a lot of time. And then you can easily click on download keywords over here and then select Google Sheets and that will export it to a Google Sheet for you and you can paste it back into your list. So from here, what you can say is cluster these keywords into categories and relevant pages, remove anything with duplicate search intent. And from there, you have a nice list that's neatly organized, right? So you can take all that research that you've done and then just organize it into relevant categories that are very specific, but take all your content step by step. Now, even once you've done that, I would still recommend having a manual check through it and just making sure, okay, does it make sense? Apply some common sense to it because ChatGPT lacks that sometimes. Organize it neatly and remove anything that probably isn't relevant for you, et cetera, right? But that's basically one of the best ways to do this. And so that is five ways to do ChatGPT SEO keyword research to find free keywords that are going to rank number one. Now, keyword research is absolutely crucial. If you pick the right keywords, it's going to be much easier to rank. And I've given you five methods today. So for example, the alphabet soup method, along with this prompt, the top, middle, and bottom of the funnel method, the competitor sitemap method, how to use the Google Ads keyword planner tool, and also how to cluster these keywords into categories and relevant pages, removing anything with duplicate search intent. Now, when you're actually creating the content, I've actually got this free SEO checklist that teaches you step-by-step step how to go from keyword research to literally creating an article that has been manually edited. Now, this works really nicely for AI content if you want to add some more originality to it, make it more helpful, etc. But basically, you can see step-by-step step how to create an outline, how to address a search intent, formatting, adding pictures and videos, etc. adding some FAQs, and basically taking that raw block of AI content and manually editing it so that it's good to go and publish on your site. So if you want to get access to all of these prompts, plus a free SEO checklist, feel free to check out my free ChatGPT SEO course. Link is in the comments in the description. And if you go to the keyword research section and then ChatGPT keywords right here, you can find the SAP with everything that we've talked about right there inside this free course. 
And if you do want to book in a free call about how to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. And we can basically answer any questions that you have. We'll build out an SEO game plan and you discover pretty much everything you need to know about how to rank using SEO. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.